Hi guys, this is Kristina Mirkovic from methodomirkovic.com and these are violent tips for moms and kids in order to work out better, keep self-awareness in a daily progress, self-progress in how to convert notes and signs from the score into the finger hand bob movement. So, until now we have discussed about right hand and we have announced the notes or the scale or in order to know what to play, how to use fingers of our left hand, we need to know by heart that is an order, the scale. Also, solfeggio scale and um, alphabet scale. So, uh, now, in order to start to use the fingers of the left hand, you should observe your kids position of the left hand. Where is to be put the left hand? On the fingerboard, on the neck of the violin. I hope you can see this small gap, not gap, um, step at the beginning of the fingerboard and uh, which is quite one millimeter higher from the fingerboard itself and there should be placed the left hand. How? The first phalanx of the index and the half of the thumb. First phalanx of the index should be placed next to this step and the thumb should be placed like forward in front of the index from the index, more on the next, on the second phalanx. So, that way it remains a kind of hole between the neck of the violin and two fingers. Never like this, okay? Really, really it is important to observe the wrist which really, really always needs to remain straight. Never coffee. <laughs> table for, or with the coffee or something like or the cake, never ever, always straight. So this is the position to be observed in a violin, hold, left hand violin hold, wrist straight, first phalanx of the index next to the step at the beginning and the second phalanx of the thumb forward in front from the index, space between the hand and the neck and wrist straight. Fingers separated round position, not like this, like this, like this, not attached, round and free between them. To know more about left hand position, how to observe it, what to do, please visit my web violin school methodomirkovic.com or just subscribe to my youtube channel below or do not hesitate to ask me anything that could increase your practicing with your kid on a daily basis. Thanks, see ya!